I'm going to show you how to measure and label your pictures using the program ImageJ. ImageJ should be open on your screen and if you click on this bar here you'll see a menu across the top. First thing we want to do is open one of our pictures in the program itself. You must open it within the program itself. So you go file open and find your picture. This is one I took of a midge fly larva. Before we measure, what we need to do is tell the computer how much a millimeter is, and thus that is why we have our millimeter scale bar that we took along with the picture. So what you need to do is select on the straight line tool and carefully measure across to our one millimeter like so. Then you go to Analyze, Set Scale. That tells us that that line was 59.2 pixels long. Our known distance is 1, and I'm going to change the unit to millimeter. So that means that every 59 pixels corresponds to 1 millimeter. You can click Global if you're going to use the same scale for each picture. If you took all the pictures with your, your little microscope at the same distance from your organism. So I took a bunch at that very same distance, and so I'm going to click Global and OK. Notice once I click away, the line disappears. So now I want to measure the, this, the length of my midge fly larvae, so I keep with the straight line tool here. And I'm going to do the best I can to make a line. Now you'll notice that my midge fly is not straight. But that's OK. I'm going to show you a more accurate way to do it in a minute. But first, just with a straight line. So I made the line. And I'm going to go Analyze, Measure. A little box should pop up and tell me that the length is 8.5. So this is 8.5 millimeters. If I were to click away, this line would disappear, and I want the line to stay there. So I'm going to go back up here and go down to Edit, Draw. That will put the line on the photograph. If um, you don't do that, the line will disappear when you click. Next thing I want to do is label the length of my line. So I'll go up to the text tool and I'm just going to make a little text box here and put the length was equal to 8.5 millimeters. Again I have to make that permanent so I go to edit draw and I also want to label what my organism is. And so it's a midge fly larva. Again, I want to make that permanent, so I hit draw. That's all you need to do to hand it in. Now to make your drawing more accurate, we can use a segmented line tool. So you just go back up to the line tool, right click, go to segmented, and we can make segmented line which would be a little more accurate because this guy is actually longer than my straight line indicates. So you double click to get it to stop. Oh. There we go. And then I'll go back to analyze measure. And my little box disappeared behind here but in actuality, my midge fly is 9.2 millimeters. So that's how you do it. Let me know if you have any questions.